all right everybody and welcome back to the channel simply reefing today we are going to do that par test that i've been talking about on the new psych lights and we're going to go ahead and check them out see what par numbers they have going on with them as you guys know i have two here one is going to go over on the other tank and today we're going to go ahead and test out these two um, without the reef brights being on right now i run my reef brights I have the parts set to where this tank will be uh, working as it should, especially as a mixed reef tank right now. And we're pretty much going to go ahead and check the par with the Apogee 510Q uh, uh, par meter. So let me go ahead and we're going to cut off the flow, we're going to cut off the reef brights, and we'll take a look at some of the par that I'm getting from this tank. Um, I am probably going to set up the third light over the cage system that way you guys get an idea of what par levels you get on a deeper system but for right now with what i have set up here i'll go over how high i have it mounted off the water and we'll look at the par numbers that we have going on so let's go ahead and get these cut off and we'll set up the par meeting get you guys some numbers here all right so here's a quick shot of the uh, frag tank i uh, have been busy uh, making some making some frags and things to take over to the show um, coming up here so right now i have the uh, the reef brights off so this is pretty much the light that we're getting um, daytime spectrum here from these uh, new sites and like i said i got the uh, Apogee here, trying to set this so it doesn't fall anymore. Um, so I got the Apogee 510, uh, picked that up from BRS. They were able to get one shipped out. And we're going to go ahead, pop this in, and get some measurements. Kind of DIY a little holder here for it. Um, let me see, there we go. Yeah, DIY a little holder here for it with a PVC pipe. Uh, 3D printed out the little holder piece for the sensor. And we're going to go ahead, pop this in get some measurements um, I will tell you guys this real quick the lights are actually sitting about 14 inches off of the water surface um, this tank is 10 inches deep and I would say water level and everything makes it at about 8 inches or so um, the frag rack sits at about 1 inch off of the glass bed um, so we're looking at pretty much just a flat surface straight across for pretty much all of the measurements here. So I'll show you what it looks like as I have it set right now, and we'll go from there. Um, it does have a lot of room for improvement um, as far as me bumping up the lights uh, percentage and things like that. Let me see where we're at so far with, with the lights right now. And I did find out that you actually have to keep this controller plugged in here so let me see if you guys can see it on camera um, yeah we're not without it doing some craziness there so currently right now just to let you guys know if anybody wants to look at the settings here if you guys can see it that's great uh, we're running with it yeah we're at a one o'clock schedule so let me get to one or at least no there we go so 11 between 11 and 6 this is this this is pretty much the settings I have so at 11 o'clock, it looks like it's 30% white, 90% blue or royal blue, 90% on the um, blue channels, 70%, I believe that was the, um, like a reddish channel or so, 20% uh, on channel E, which was the UV, so I think there was like a purple violet UV and then another UV channel, and then like a green and white channel also too. So. Uh, as far as blues go, the blues channels uh, for me are pretty much uh, raised up here. There we go. Are uh, raised up pretty high, about 10% difference. But it is giving me at least a decent amount of par at this depth here with this tank. Um, and you guys, you guys can see uh, pretty much a lot of the color has come back um, on this tank. Mainly, I've been running everything off of these lights and feeding um, what is it, coral feast food and some of their additives and stuff. So this tank's primarily just been running off of um, new 
new things, new things that's been on the market. And actually everything in here looks pretty darn good. Uh, I will give you guys a nice blue uh, rundown here once I adjust all the settings here so you guys, so you guys can see everything pop. But for right now, I was going to test the power with the daylight, daylight settings that I have right now. And let me move the camera. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started up. And so the first setting that, or the first measurement I'm taking is um, over here uh, to the far right where the, the gyre is sitting at. Uh, now I'm just moving it around towards the back. Uh, so on the back wall here, we're looking at what, 140, 165 or so. Like I said, that's the back wall that I'm looking at right now. Um, let's get this here. So we're looking at what, 250 right underneath the light. And when we're talking about underneath the light, we're looking at the first puck here, which is right in the middle of these uh, mushrooms, or I'm sorry, the Zoas and the Montes here. And like I said, lights directly underneath it, come straight down, and there we go. So we're looking at about 250 or so on, this, on the par here. Uh, we'll move it over to the left, we're pretty much gonna get the same thing. Once we start getting into this cross section, it, it peaks at about 250, 240. Um, now over on the side where I have majority of my SPS, we're looking right on one of the plates, and where we're getting same thing here, so two, 220, so it's gonna be a pretty flat par response. Um, when you get underneath the lights, obviously the, the par is gonna be brighter than if it was on the sides. So I'm uh, gonna move this over to the back corner where the return nozzle is. And as you can see, it drops off to 132. Um, this is with the flow off, no water movement or anything like that. And the reef brights are off here. So looking over where the that large green Nephthia is at, we're looking at a 182 or so. Again, this is still about an inch um, off of the surface of the glass. And oh, that shut off. Now they do time out, so let's get it cut back on. There we go. So looking here, we're in, in between all the Montes up front. We're still in the 200s. Like I said, this light by itself does put out enough par. Um, you can imagine if the third one was on here, I would get a lot more. And this is the reason why I went to two, because I figured two on here would be would be enough. Uh, but I also wanted some more blue punch. And that's the reason I did add on the uh, Reef Brights. Um, so by themselves, they, they do work. They work great. Uh, like I said, I will show you guys what everything looks like when I do just turn on all blues and a lot of things in here do glow. Um, but for the most part, as far as par goes with these lights, I mean, they, they produce light, they produce the par, and they're gonna give you guys the numbers that you're looking for here. Um, I will just to appease most of the people here that's probably wondering, you know, on a deeper tank, do you get the same par? I'll go ahead and set up one of the one of the lights on the Cade, and then do some measurements real quick on that one there. Um, it is gonna be one light, so that way you guys can have an idea on a deeper tank. Um, are you going to still get those same numbers? Because I'm pretty certain folks might have that question. But looking at 152, and we are here right underneath the gyre. And like I said, the front portion is everything here. So this is all my Montes and stuff that don't require a whole lot of light. Um, my SPS and stuff, like I said, I'm probably going to switch this over to just strictly SPS because once I turn on the reef brights, that 100 on the sides does level back out to the 200s and then I can at least you know uh, up the lights more if I need to and get more coverage across the board so 225 in the middle um, it does do what, it, what it's supposed to do so let me go ahead and cut on the reef brights I'll keep it on the side here and you guys can see what I'm talking about when I turn on these reef brights how much more par I do get <clears throat> from just adding on the reef brights Okay, so with the reef brights on, we're at 260 and we are right up against the glass here in the front. And everything is much blurred. Now, with the reef brights on, this is what the power level is sitting at. 
Again, there is no water movement at all. It's not a real environment for most reef tanks. Um, a lot of folks usually have their pumps going. My pump is just not coming back on. And you'll kind of see these numbers go and start fluctuating back to the 200s here. So we'll just take a look at, let the pump kick on, and we'll see that these numbers come down. That was at the surface of the, so at the, at the surface here, let me show you. Surface with the water ripples, we're pushing, we're pushing high 400s. So let me go ahead and turn on all the pumps and show you guys what part I'm getting. I know I'm pushing around maybe 250 or so once all the flow comes back on. And you can see with the flow, this is what we're doing. Two to 300 uh, bouncing around. So, and when I say flow, this is what we're talking about here. Probe's right here. And there's the probe in the water flow. There's enough flow in this tank here to disperse a lot of that part coming in. So it sits at about 300 to 200, 250 or so on average uh, with the flow on and everything on. So I'm happy with that. A lot of the corals are happy with it. And uh, with everything I'm doing here, hopefully uh, we continue this progress. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the Cade system, show you guys what the power levels look like there. And we will call it a day on the power video for the uh, new cycle lights. All right, so we got the light set up here on the cage system right now. Um, all the lights on the tank right now are off. I did raise them up so that way I can put the the lighting rack here, or the uh, the tank mount for the new psych on here. And it actually is sitting over the middle um, of the tank pretty much. So let's go ahead. Everything is set to 100%. So what I'm going to show you guys here is the par on that. I'm going to grab the meter real quick, uh, get some light on it, and show you guys the numbers for this. Okay. So everything's set up here. Let's get this in focus. All right. So right about. Uh, right above the clam, we're pushing about 513. Uh, keep in mind these lights, everything is on at 100%. Um, and the mounting height on this whole thing, I believe, is about 9 inches, uh, 8 or 9 inches from the surface of the water. Um, there is no water movement on right now, so we're getting quite a bit of park here at the top of the tank. Um, Towards the bottom of the tank, I'm gonna have to step over a bit, try to get through all the corals without breaking anything. There we go. So down here by my Ghani, I'm getting uh, 190, 192, 200 par. And down here on the sand bed, uh, we're pulling in at about, let's say 62, 62 par. And that's on the sand bed right near the, the NEM. We're getting, yeah, so right near the NEM, actually, we're getting 220, 230. But if you move over just a tad bit, you're getting about 90, and that's near my sapastria here. Um, so, yeah, it, it really, honestly, I would say it does give the par numbers that it, you know, everybody's looking for. And hopefully this uh, video helps you guys out. Um, go ahead and take everything down. But other than that, man, if you guys like the light, um, I would say go ahead and get it. Me personally, I do like it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep using it on the frag tank. Uh, some things I would like to see, honestly, like I've said before, I'm gonna say it again. This light had like a Bluetooth app that went along with it. Uh, that would actually make it a lot better. Uh, to use uh, without having to have this control plugged in. One less thing to have plugged in as far as outlets go. Uh, and also to, let's see. Well, for me, I like the moonlight settings uh, on most of my lights because I do run a little bit of moonlight or some something near moonlight on my tanks. And I would like to have that. So some type of controllability in that sense would be nice. 
all in all, the light out of the box is a, a pretty good light. Um, so again, if you guys like the video, you like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up on it. If you like the video and you want to get it out to other folks, but until the next video, I will check you guys on the next one. Peace.